It's our story. Pat Puckett, Atlanta, Georgia. Well, for one thing, I think the longer people have been dependent, uh, the longer that journey takes. Um, nursing homes are what I refer to as graduate school for learned helplessness because part of what you have to do is to become very, very passive. And it isn't actually just nursing homes either. It's probably the entire um, medical structure. You know, anytime there's separation and segregation, you can expect uh, passivity and dependence. I remember reading a, a research paper several years ago about that tracked children with disabilities when they were first in kindergarten all the way through high school and the, the um, researcher was basically researching preferences and their expression of preferences. By the time kids got to high school, they didn't even bother anymore. These were special ed kids. They didn't even bother expressing any preferences anymore. They had been enculturated to obedience. And so that's what I see of a lot of people as being enculturated to passivity and obedience in institutions of any kind, whether it's a special ed class or a nursing home. And so it takes a, a lot of uh, challenging people um, to get them to the place where they are interested in taking some control over their lives, I think. So it, it's a, a long journey. Well, I think one of the biggest things that helps is peer support. You know, people with disabilities who've made the journey, working with other folks to get them to that place too. So um, I think that is, a, a, of all the things that I think Centers for Independent Living offer people, it's that. It's other people with disabilities who've been there, done that, quit whining and let's move on. You know, and, there, and that's more than anything else, I think, what, what it takes. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.